You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. True Car, that's right. Hey, listen, when you're ready to buy a car, True Car is changing car buying forever. Yes, True Car helps car buyers get rid of the fear that they might overpay. Every day, True Car users receive negotiation free guaranteed savings, and True Car users save an average, listen to this, of $3,000. $221 off MSRP, Pepper. When you're ready to buy a car, just follow these three easy steps. Okay, let me write it down. First, first, download the True Car mobile app. All right. Or go to TrueCar.com to find out what others pay for the car you want. That's step one. Then register to see upfront pricing information and lock in your savings. I'm locking in as we speak, like I'm locking in my answer on uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Third, third step is simple. Take your guaranteed savings certificate to the True Car Certified Dealer for a better, hassle-free car buying experience. Some features not available in all states, Dave. I'll tell you what, with True Car, you can save time, save money, never overpay. See how much you can save on the car you want. Simply download the True Car mobile app or visit TrueCar.com today. True Car. It's the Davey Max Sports Program. Program on Riotcast.com. That's right. Yeah. And <laughs> here's your host, Dave McDonald. That's yeah! me. See? I just love it. I love being the host. I love people clapping for me. Are you people clapping? Yeah, you are. Salty's clapping. Eric is clapping. Gabe is still here. He's clapping. Pepper's not clapping. There's no I'm clapping from place, Pepper. Buddy. It's Davey Back Sports Program. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eastside Dave. Some call me the Davey Mac. Others call me the Sports Master. 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 He's the one that we bet after. With me, as always, sitting directly to my left, he goes by the name Chris Pepper Stanley. Oh, yeah. 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 He sounds like a drug chick from college. Yeah. Woo, buddy. Yeah. Kicked yeah. out! Yeah! Also with us, Engineer Tanishano! Hey. 30-time Oscar winner on the keyboard, Troy Schaefer! Uh. And just a packed Whoa. house tonight. Gaby Baby's in the house. Yeah! Salty Mike is in the house. Yeah. Kevin Segretti in the power who? Eric, documenting this. And two lovely guests, Roy. You're going to have to introduce them. They might not want their real names out there after this debacle. I don't even know. But go ahead, Roy. We, you... uh, we have uh, visiting guests from England, Shawnee and... From England! Tyler. From England! I love England so much. I was there... Oh, golly. It's okay. 1995, Red Light District. Right, Peppy Hamburger? Sure. Jack Parlors. And this is what happened. This is a goddamn true story. I was 17 years old with three of my friends. And we're in there. Yeah. Play some uh, some English, English music. Oh, I thought you were working in the red light. And <laughs> I was. I was giving hand jobs for eight pounds. Hot. Eight pound hand jobs, eh? <laughs> and um, 
My, uh, <laughs> we, we, we went into uh, what we thought was a strip club, sure. right? Or whatever. Yeah, we yeah, didn't know. It's a red we, light district. We just didn't know what we were doing. I know. 17. Yeah. We go, we sit down on the couch, and uh, it says uh, in a small plaque on the couch, you know, it says ten dollars to enter. Then you get you get to see girls, and then uh, they make you order a drink. Behind you was a plaque that said, "Once you order a drink, it's three hundred pounds." Whoa! To wow. see the ladies. So as you paid, right? We didn't have that money at <laughs> I mean, all. I thought you guys were ballers. So, the Quertos guitarist Jason Ruffian starts shaking Masturbating. like he's having a seizure. Okay. He <laughs> falls to the ground. This is brilliant. Davey Mack runs over and he goes, my friend's on Special K. Remember the 90s? That was oh, the big I, drug. I, I still do Special K. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. You're throwback. You're fucking uh, throwback. You still listen to the Matchbox 20 over here. They're my fave. This guy still fucking watches season three of Friends over here. He's Mr. 90s. Wouldn't, wouldn't go that far. Uh, yeah. I'll be there for you, Pepper. So my friend, I go, my friend's on Special K. And they go, Get your friend the fuck out of here! <laughs> Get him the fuck out! And so we ended up not having to give him any money, except for my friend Rooster, who thought we were going to get killed by these two uh, African Englishmen. Sure. And, uh, they, and they demanded my friend to give him their watch. Well, yeah. So Rooster uh, and Catman lost their watches. Okay. Were they nice watches, or would they just steal them just for the hell of it? They were fucking with old yeah. digital a swatch. Bull swatch type <laughs> things. You know. There's a calculator. Give us your watch! So after that, I've just loved England forever. It's been a wonderful time. Uh, I went to Abbey Road in England. Pepper, you ever you ever go to London? Never been. Ah, oh, you just you're an uncultured fucking American swine, is what you are. <laughs> yeah, and you're you you haven't been to jack and shit. Your culture, me. Carl. I've been to Scotland. I've been to fucking Canada, and I've been to Camden, New Jersey, dog. Ah. Let me tell you, that fucking place is a third world if there ever was one. Holy cow! You're a world traveler. You know, I try to be. Sarcasm. Speaking of the world travelers, this Cam Newton was driving his goddamn car today, uh, or yesterday, yesterday, or whenever, and bam, 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 and the car's flipping over. What happened there? He flipped his truck. Do, do we know? I know he got T-boned, right? Uh, the, car, the car flipped. He busted up his back, so he now has the same exact back as Tony Romo. It's the same exact injury. How lovely. I want Pepper to turn around to the English girls for a second, because I'm sorry, with the hat off, it's just too similar. Does he not remind you of Pepper? Don't listen to this part. A slightly bigger Marcus Mumford. Hey, Ginger. <laughs> slightly bigger, because Marcus Mumford is no string bean. This isn't a, exactly Jagger we're talking about. Roy, you saw him on that new uh, documentary on Showtime. Yeah, I sure did. The guy's like 240 at this point. Yeah, he's getting bigger, right? It's fighting weight. The road's not good. That's to 240 him. pounds, American pounds. I don't know what what that is in English. It's like 17 stone. They call it stone. Yeah. Yeah. So does he look like that to you guys at all? No, no. Oh, she said no, but then when Pepper looked at her, she said yes. <laughs> liar. She's a she's a British liar. <laughs> Do you have to get so nationalistic? Uh, you know, we have we have friendly relations. Start- Ever hear of a little thing called WW two where we were all friends? And we had a crippled president, and they had a drunk president, and our presidents were just getting drunk and playing crippled games. Oh, Churchill was the best. He won the war pissed drunk. We oh, I know. It was great. It was fucking uh, brandy in the morning, fucking margaritas at night. The guy was all over the that, place. That was very surprising. He was they the hunter of margarita at night. <laughs> Did you watch the Ken Burns thing about the Roosevelts? Yeah, I watched it, yeah. Yeah, they, they were like, oh, yeah. Yes, and then uh, for uh, breakfast, he would have uh, two and a half piles of brandy <laughs> and some eggs. And yeah, then he would yeah, kill Nazis. And then he'd be like, Get those fucking Nazis! And Roy, does that does that make you feel weird? A little you're, weird. You're yeah. like you're you're all German, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a German Austrian. Your dad's German? Yeah. You have Jesus old. Christ. You have old. See what I'm talking about here? He adds that element of hatred to the show that I don't care for, because that's what Germans believe in. They believe in uh, they 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 believe in Octune Baby, the album from U2, because that was made in Berlin and it has the word Octune in it, right? They believe that's in right. Kraftwerk. They believe in Lars. From Real World Season 4, Rammstein. the German character. Rammstein. Rammstein. Oh, and Rammstein. Rammstein. Yeah. For some reason, Hasselhoff is big over there. Yeah. Love him. And Telly Savalas. Telly, Telly was big. Telly was They huge. like bald people with lollipops over there. Latex. <laughs> they like latex. Huh? Jesus fucking Christ. We'll shave fucking uh, Gabe's head and give him a blow pop. Send him over immediately. The, big, the <laughs> biggest, biggest fucking <laughs> star in Berlin. Here's your new, your new fucking Buxley. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Gabe. Here's my blow pop. <laughs> Here's my my fuck what? hole. What? How did I get dragged into this? Because you're in it. You're sitting next to me for some reason. <laughs> you're practically on my lap. I'm like Santa Claus. I'm like fucking Santa over here, for Christ's sake. What do you want? I'm going to get you a fucking football so you don't shoot your eye out, you little prick. That's what I'm going to get. You know what I'm talking about. It's Christmas story. Ever see it? Come on. Um, Roy? Yes, Dave. I have a question for you. You got it, Dave. Everyone knows you're the biggest NHL fan on the planet Earth. I am. Everyone knows you love hockey. That's right. When it comes to the wonderful sport of hockey, yeah. Roy Schaefer is an expert. That's right. Right? And that team, your team from your childhood is? The Islanders. The Long Island Islanders. Or the, 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 the fucking New York Islanders. That's right. Right? Soon to be, I guess, the Brooklyn the Islanders. Brooklyn Islanders. Yeah, they're going out there next year. You know, they are kicking ass in the NHL right now. Are Dude, you aware actually, of that? I'm totally aware. Ticket sales have skyrocketed. Do you... Uh, <laughs> Ticket sales. Do you go to the uh, Nassau Coliseum? Never seen one. No. What a fucking dump. Oh, Holy I love it there. shit. No kidding. I, I stuck am... in there once for a fish show. Did you I, really? I dressed as a hot dog vendor. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? You Tell me you were dressed like a giant hot dog. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hot dogs here. I'm a big hot dog. Just don't bite me. I'm just a mascot. I um, paid a... African American <laughs> hot dog vendor. This guy's like fucking uh, uh, Ray Liotta and Goodfellas over here. I pay him twenty. He's paying hot dog vendors. I pay him twenty. Here's a little bucks. twenty for you. Always you two over here. Don't you work? I pay him twenty five bucks. He gave me his hot dog vendor hat. That is <laughs> that is one fucking pathetic employee. Yeah. That's all it took is twenty five dollars to give this fucking uh, drug degenerate his goddamn costume yeah, and everything. Yeah, because you're the most sober fucking upstanding citizen ever. I am. I'm only on nine quaaludes right now. They don't even exist. Not a anymore. big you're deal. Lying. If you know people, dog, you can get quaaludes. So uh, he gave me his hat and his hot dog vendor, I guess, vest, and then I walked into the Nassau Coliseum to enjoy a fish show. Did the vest fit? Vest yeah. <laughs> Was it like that scene from Rares of the Lost Ark where he uh, knocks out the Nazi and then puts on his costume and can't even fucking button it? I figure like Pepper, like the vest would come up to like right here. <laughs> can't close the vest. I'm going to be found out. Did you have a little pin? Some like uh, Nassau Coliseum? Did you? No. Was there a name tag? No. <laughs> I'm not talking about you as a person. I'm just talking about vests. So who the fuck can keep a vest on? So did you end up selling the hot dogs or anything? Or Yeah, I sold a bunch of hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> made 400 bucks that night. Was fish good? Did I they... don't know. I overdosed on ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That they... means I snorted too much ecstasy. Did you wake up in a hospital? <laughs> no, but I was in a parking lot taking my pulse at 4 in the morning. <laughs> you were taking your own pulse? <laughs> yeah. As if you're qualified when you're dying. I can <laughs> count, motherfucker. <laughs> I think I'm dying, but I'm not sure. Although saying this out loud means I may be alive. <laughs> um, did uh, they play my song, Chalk Dust? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Come near the back of the burgers. You know I love that song, Peppy Hamburger. Mm. Fish Fridays every Friday. <laughs> right on 49th Street and 8th Avenue. Yeah, Fish Fridays every single Friday. Is that right? That's right. You have to find the location. It's a secret location. You just told us the location. 49th to the 8th. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're right, Sean. Yeah. You figured it out. <laughs> you're like the Da Vinci Code over there. You're it's just me. figuring shit out all the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> um, Pepper, you know who's on the Knicks case right now? I don't know who. Magic Johnson. I'm, um, excuse me, Dennis Rodman. <laughs> They're th almost the same person. <laughs> 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 they both have AIDS somehow. Uh, Dennis but Rodman. We know why Rodman would have AIDS. <laughs> Magic Johnson's the one we would be confused about. He was, what, what, 80s. Because he was fucking more people than Liberace. Is that why Dennis Rodman would have AIDS? Um, he, uh, even he's on the Knicks. He says, uh, what did he say? He said something about Phil oh, he Jackson. Oh, he, he said it took him 15 minutes to learn the triangle, and that he pretty much, he said he feels yeah. sorry for Phil Jackson, that, and there's no team besides Carmelo, and that they're, they, he implied they're all morons for yeah. learning the triangle This offense. is Dennis Rodman making fun of the Knicks' intellect. He's, he's, great, he's not he's exactly defensive. Aristotle over He's there. a great he's defensive Kim player. Kim Jong-un's best yes. friend. Yeah, well, I mean, I know he's a great ambassador for America, but yeah. that doesn't mean it's that, you know, he's very smart. The worm, right. He's married to Carmen Electra. He's a, uh, not anymore, he, for he Christ's sake. He still is. He was in 994, Mr. 90s. You still get props for that. Uh... Pepper's like uh, watching a VH1 pop-up bundle <laughs> video over here. Pop-up video. It's like I'm doing a show with Eric Stoltz over here. <laughs> 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 well, that's a compliment. Thank you. 
Eric Stoltz. He could have went mask. Eric a, lo- a mask. lot. Oh, well, then that's not a compliment. <laughs> Rocky Dennis. Because that fucker was <laughs> ugly in that movie. I don't know if he, like, stopped working out or what, but it's Eric Stoltz looked terrible in Mask. I mean, it's Eric, you're going to be in a fucking movie with Cher. Yeah. You know, do some she push-ups. Looked, she looked Stop great. with the fucking deformed face already. Yeah. Right, Pep? Is that the same thing with Elvin Man, too? That guy had a, just a lack of work ethic, lack of fitness. Sure, that yeah, big stupid it. head of his. His DNA was just lazy. All he had to do was one thing. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he had to do. Very simple. Don't, don't go to bed. <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> don't do it, John Merrick. Remember that, Pep? Know who directed that movie? David Lynch. Correct. David Lynch. That's 35 points for Pepper. Sean L., you have 17. Salty Mike, you have 28. Thank you. Roy fuck? Schaefer, 52. Oh, yeah. Why is he at 52? Kevin Segretti, 79. Gabe, 84. This is, yeah. These scores seem arbitrary. And the English birds have 300 <laughs> points. That, that's what they call That's what they call girls in England, birds. You, you know where I got that from? Some sort of Zeppelin doc made in 1978 with Jimmy Page. I, it's probably not a current word at all, is it? <laughs> he was like, I love American birds. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to remember that. I'm, I'm going to remember it for like a, a nice card. 30 nope. years from now of two English people <laughs> sitting nice in some podcast, jay. which don't even exist. What's that? Nice cardinal. Yeah, yeah. cardinal. A, bl- a blue jay. I tell you one thing. American birds. It was uh, freezing in New Jersey. Uh, light. Uh, it was a wintry mix, as they say. Some hail. Some frozen rain, a little snow. I see a cardinal in the fuck in my backyard, which should be gone by now. I th- so Today. You, I thought you meant like a priest, like yeah, a cardinal. I really, yeah. It was a priest. <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing was, he was. That's really weird. What was weird was, he was actually setting a nest up in a tree. Why? So he had lots of kitty mags. That he was, you know, making the nest out of. Very ironic priest. He yeah. He really gets it. Right. <laughs> he, he was calling it, for some reason, his Nambla clubhouse. And then I don't know a, what that even means. And then there was a bishop standing on a giant chessboard. Oh, the yeah. Place. He's there, too. <laughs> anyway, this real cardinal that was out there in this tree. <laughs> yeah. The bird. It was, uh, oh, man, so cute, you know? <laughs> so I took my son's BB gun, and I fucking shot that fucker right through the eye. And he's still sitting out there, just fucking one goddamn eye blown out of his fucking head. Blood all over the place. Surprised you didn't hit the brain with that. I tried to. I tried to, dog. Pop! I tell you one thing, I should be in the Olympics. <laughs> I'm like I'm like Gina Davis over here, the way she is with archery. Yeah. Gina Davis. She, the, the actress, actress, is an Olympic archer. Shut up. Pay attention to the goddamn Olympics once in a while. Why would I know that? Gina Davis Gina from Beetle Davis. from Beetlejuice. Yeah. The woman, the, the chick from Beetlejuice See, is, is, is an Davis Olympic from League of Their Own. League of Their Own. That's Thelma and Louise. You yeah. name it. Yeah. She's a star. I tells you, a oh, big she's, star. She's the best. She's falling off the map hard, huh? She puts so much time in archery. She's having a career like Salty Mike over there. Salty, how are you today? No, I'm good. I'm good. How's everything? <laughs> I'm you know, doing I'm fantastic. Sure. <laughs> you know. how, how, how are you and Pepper getting along? You know, it's the, you know, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. You know, man. Uh, well, time 31 years. When's 31. the last time uh, you guys hung out? Because well, I, I want to see where this fictitious uh, bullshit you know, narrative uh, is going. My mother talked about him. Uh, your, your mother talked about <laughs> Pepper? About what did she okay. say? You know, it's, hey, hey, you know, I have a brother. <laughs> Oh, yeah. there, you know. This is your uh, uh, nephew. 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 nephew and, w- and what else did uh, your mom say? Did, you, did your mom speak about Pepper's mom at all? Oh, no, he's no longer with us. God just, rest uh, her soul. He he said well, I don't just, want him to say anything um, bad. I just, you know, I just, uh, she didn't really go there. She didn't go there. She didn't go there. Didn't go there. Well, that's right. a nice thing to say. Yeah, that's right. That's the yeah. right she better not fucking go there. Yeah, she's she, she shy. You know? This turned really, really dark. Oh, it turned dark as soon as the fucking bikes went off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Roy and I have a song. Uh, uh, um, well, actually, we don't have a song prepared. But I informed Roy that I brought my E-Keek uh, harmonica. <laughs> I just thought, you know, it's time to jam a little bit. And uh, But, Roy, please jam in the key of E, because that's this harmonica. I ain't like fucking John Popper with a Rambo vest of, you know, different keyed that's harmonicas. And he actually has a real van- Rambo vest. You know, he's like a look, crazy um, oh, yeah. gun nut. Yeah, he's a gun. He's a, he's a gun and knife nut. He's like fucking Chewy with the goddamn uh, harmonica belt strapped across his fucking chest. I thought those were like bullets, like laser bullets. They were. They were little car- cartridges, I'm assuming, for his uh, laser crossbow. I'm assuming. The new Star Wars is going to be awesome. What is it? It's called the Bowcat. We were just talking about it on the Watchers. Yes, that's right. There's a brand new Watchers coming out, so check the Watchers on iTunes or 
eastsidedavecountry.com. If you want to hear more of uh, me, um, WRAT.com or 95.9 FM. <laughs> I'm there Mondays through Fridays, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Can I'm the biggest. WART.com. Did I really? WART.com. <laughs> <laughs> go to, to, to wart.com if you've got an ingrowth near the balls. No, uh, by the way, I, I really actually need to go to wart.com because something new popped up a couple days ago. You know, I haven't had an update on your dick in a while, so that's great. Thanks. This one looks like a little flesh-colored chocolate chip. I sort of I sort of want to eat it. Bite it off. I sort of want to take a little scissor, cut it off, put it on a cookie, Ew. and then give it to my kids. And be like, uh, April Fools, you little fucking brats. Hey, you know what I want to talk about? FanDuel.com. FanDuel.com. It's your season-long fantasy football league. It's winding down. But the one-week fantasy football leagues on FanDuel have never been bigger. Don't wait till next year. Play more fantasy football for real cold, hard cash. This season over at FanDuel.com. I'm going to tell you a story of a man who won a lot of money. Chris Prince from Detroit is an avid fantasy football player. He's won over $656,000. Playing fantasy sports at FanDuel.com. Join him and the hundreds of thousands of other users who've already won money. Dave? Could you see a plague of harmonica? How am I supposed to? Where, where'd you leave off? The leader in Flood Lake Fantasy Football League. The money is real. Entry fees tree start at one to the dollar. Hey, the money's real. Entry fees, entry fees start at one dollar. No season-long commitment. No upfront fees. Play each week or whenever you want. Set a new lineup each week and every week if you're good enough. FanDuel is paying out more than 170 million dollars this NFL season. You have to play to win. Sign up today. Go to FanDuel.com. Click on the microphone in the upper ca- uh, corner. Use the code DMS. Sign up now. DMS. That's right, salty. Hey, we, look, we just talked about Cam Newton. He's laid up right now in the hospital. Derek Anderson's going to be playing for him. I say you still pick up Kelvin Benjamin this weekend. Derek Anderson threw it to him nonstop when he was starting uh, earlier in the season. Look, FanDuel's paying out more than $170 million this NFL season. But you have to play to win, so sign up today. Go to FanDuel.com and click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Use the code DMS. Sign up now. It's a new user special. FanDuel's giving you a bonus of $200 on your first visit. That's a free Two hundred dollars for every dollar you deposit. FanDuel will match it up to two hundred dollars. Offers only good for the first fifty people that use the code oh, yeah. DMS. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use the code DMS. DMS. Don't miss out on miss all out. the fantasy football you can handle. FanDuel.com or every week's a new season. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-L dot C-O-M. Sign up today. FanDuel.com. What a great service. Thank you, Salty. I know. It's a good service. Have a try it out, Salty Mike? Yeah, you know, there was that one time. But what we happened? Talk, we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> that. Seems like you're very secretive. Like, you have a lot of things to hide. You, know, you won't talk about Pepper and your relationship with him and you know, now the fan duel. Like this, this is not, you know, we can't talk about this. All right. This. <laughs> that's fine. No, don't worry. I, I, you know. It will come to you. All right. But that's you know, that's okay. He's got to have the last word, Dave. You know, he's got to have a meeting with Pepper after this. How about this for a weird story? Floyd Mayweather. You familiar with him, Pepper? He's a boxer. I heard of him. This guy's a boxer. You know who I'm talking about, Pepper? I hear he's good. I've heard of his father. Pepper, I ever know about uh, Floyd Mayweather? He's a boxer. He fights. He's a boxer. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Ever, ever hear about him? He's a boxer. He gets into wait, the wait, ring. Wait, wait, he's a wait, fighter. Wait. He's a fighter. He's a box. He boxes. talking about He's Money a boxer. Mayweather? Ever, ever, ever hear of him? He, he's a boxer. Floyd Mayweather. Justin Money, Bieber's Money way, Justin Bieber. He's a boxer. He's a fighter. Ever, do you know this guy? Floyd Mayweather. Are you familiar with the, 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 the guy with Pacquiao dancing with the stars? You know him? Are you familiar with him, Pepper? He's a boxer. Do you know that this guy, Floyd Mayweather? You want to get to the fucking story? Okay, so Floyd Mayweather, he's on FaceTime, right, with his right. Uh, his friend, a member of his posse. Oh, cool. The crew. Entourage. Yeah. This is a fun story, right? Yeah. No. The yeah. guy shoots his fucking uh, wife the fuck? and then shoots himself in the face, Whoa. kills himself, murder suicide 
all captured on FaceTime Holy shit. by moneymaker Floyd May- Mayweather. He experienced, Floyd. <laughs> he experienced the whole goddamn thing on FaceTime. Now, if that ain't some fucked up shit, did I don't it, know. Or does he just tell a story about how this happened? He recorded it. You recorded it? Yep. Record and that? he actually sent us how the audio. Record? Roy even has um, some, some music because he put a bed under it, too. Really and uh, it's a, it's it's actually audio of the guy. He's a rapper named Earl uh, Earl Hayes. Earl and Hayes. here here was the uh, the audio. Ow! <laughs> and that's it. That's all the audio that you're gonna get. I'm surprised he even got Ow out. Yeah. Well, he shot himself in the chest. So that's that was a good deal with that. Give a second or two. Yeah. He wanted to feel it. So uh, any jokes for that, salty Mike? You know. Just you know. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, who does that? He shot himself in the chest. Pepper thinks about it every fucking day of his life. It's right, Pep? Depressing. You wouldn't shoot yourself in the chest, though, right? It would be in the mouth. I'd fucking shoot you in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> and then? And then I'd fucking in suck order. off that fucking gun. No, wait. <laughs> Until that bullet in, blasts in, through my back of my head. In order of who you would shoot first in the entire room, uh, please go down the list. Thank you. Number one, Salty Mike. <laughs> Salty Mike goes down. <laughs> because he really pissed you off with this weird, uh, estranged know, relationship. Out of ta- I, you, know. you two are relatives, <laughs> but you, had, you don't have a good... Roy and Louisa Schaefer get along, but Uncle Pepper and his, and, and his nephew, Salty Mike, not yeah. happy. So Mike's first. Trying. Second. Then I kill Gabe. Gabe is second on the hit list. Poor Gabe. Then I kill Sean. Oh, Sean on, O'Barry! Man. Who's going to play the Gruden Sansabacher uh, drop? Yeah. Then I, then I Our one little piece of audio. Then I kill Eric. Oh, God, there he is. There's the Grudes. <laughs> then who? Then I kill Eric. Eric? Who's going to film this? Fucking Eric goes out after me. <laughs> Eric is everyone's best friend. You know Don't you know that? Fuck you, Pepper. And then I kill Roy. Son of a bitch. Roy? Who's going to play keyboards? Then the, the couch gets wiped out. The couch? Kevin? Okay, uh, these three people. Yeah. The two British people and, and the American. The birds and the American, yeah. Yeah, who's going to go out first? Kevin gets it first. Kevin! He would kill you. Then what? Kevin, you have any thoughts about this at all? It's crazy. You don't play them? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you've done some things in your past, have you? I should be first too over these guys. Oh. No, no, you're like sixth on the list. Don't He's worry. Saying, you, you know who you remind me of? General Washington with that shit, you know? I, I don't know a lot about the Revolutionary War. I think actually he ended up fighting the British now that I think about it. So I don't know all my history, Gabe. And Pepper, finally, of the last two uh, remaining ladies. Then they're both wiped out, and then I say... No, who? Who? Who gets shot first? What are you guys' names again? I apologize. Shawnee and Tyler. Tyler gets it first. (laughs) Tyler gets killed first. (laughs) Then then Shawnee. Shawnee survives. And then... And then me. And then, no, I just throw the gun out and beat you to death. Okay, but so I am... I get to... This is awesome. You get to watch everyone die. The, The cool thing is, we can broadcast this whole fucking thing. And just one by one... You know, it's like a mur- we we could do a murder mystery by one by one. The lights go off and Pepper's killed someone else. Well, the second Gabe gets shot, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn off the feed. In fact, turn off the lights right now. Oh shit! Let's do this like Clue. Don't turn off the lights. You ever seen Sean, Clue? can I have another drink? No. Please. Watch out! I'm turning the lights off to where people can see you. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh god. Oh, this the is a uh... fucking sports show. This is a show about sports. And now Gabe is crawled underneath the fucking desk. Is he trying to blow me? The lights are on. <laughs> Gabe is dead. Gabe is dead. Well, yeah. The Ustream audience can see. Gabe is fucking dead. Yeah. And now we that's where the murder mystery starts. Yeah, but co- Let's just think about this. Gabe, I want you to remain under me for the rest of the show. Yeah, for, for continuity this purposes. Is fun. You gotta, I kind of have my own little Stop moving, stool. Gabe. You're fucking don't, dead. Don't rub my leg. You're dead. Stop moving. You just sit there. You don't can move. rub mine, Gabe. Pepper. Okay. Is Brian Cashman in a coma? Is he okay? Is Brian Cashman, was he zapped up by aliens? Because I, I, I would actually believe that. Because the Yankees general manager, Mr. Brian Cashman, is making zero moves while the Yankees continue to get worse. We got a new shortstop. The Yankees continue. Oh, yeah. We got, got a new shortstop from Diamondbacks. Right. He hit 226. That's awesome. <laughs> and people gave shit to Jeter, who hit 260 last year. Remember? I think he's coming into his own. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. He's got no power, and he hits 226. What a wonderful move. No third baseman. Hey, we lost I can't Derek get behind Robertson. Chase Headley. We lost. We're gonna lose yeah, him. and they lose their closer, David Robertson. He's David, gone. Derek. Do we still got Texaria? 
Mark Teixeira it's Sorry, is Dave. still on the <laughs> team, but you know he'll he'll play six games before he gets his fucking groin pull that he gets every year, and then uh, away we go. Prediction: Yankees. They're gonna go 14 and 150, which is actually impossible. That would be two extra games in the regular season, but that's they're, they're gonna be the record. No, no, no. They somehow make the playoffs. That, that division, <laughs> whole division, just so bad. Uh, just one of the worst. Brian Cashman needs to lose his job. Am I right, Pepper? Or am I wrong? You know what? I agree. Wow. You know what? Finally. I love you, oh, Pat. Shit, I love you. Roy, give us some love music. Yesterday. All my peppers seem so far away. Now my peppers here to play. Oh yeah, I believe in Pepper Day. Suddenly. Gabe is gently stroking my knee. Stroking his knee. Should have never left him under the table. Oh, no. oh Pepper is Marcus Mumford. Why he had to go, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he wouldn't stay. Pepper said, said. he'd <laughs> shoot Gabe first. It's a murder. Second. Suicide Pepper Day <laughs> Gonna shoot Salty Mike right in the face Holy shit Gonna strangle Sean Owen Burn Roy alive And the two English girls He's gonna throw out Burns. the window To make a stunt For Times Square Cause he's the new David Blaine And he kills people and puts his specials on TLC. That's called Pepper's Day. Right here on the Davy Max Sports Program. Hashtag DMSP. DMSP. Did you like that song? I just, yeah, come on out. No, leave them. Yeah, da- dude, you got to fuck up the continuity. We got cameras rolling, dude. We have cameras. The cameras rolling. Get back under there. Cut the lights why first. would you let him up, Dave? Seriously. And Gabe, why would you get up? I'm feeling so sad right now, like as if I could play like a jailhouse thing. Yes. <laughs> this, this show feels like fucking jail rape tonight. <laughs> Bad Pepper, you give me some vocals. I want this to be a test. Usually, I take the lead vocals. You just come up with anything you want. I'm not saying like a Miles Davis. Davis. Just anything you want. Yeah. Anything at the top of your head, even if it's spoken word, whatever comes up. That was good. That was a good start. You're gonna get dead air. That's better. Well, it was 1968. And I got one of those letters, you know, come down to the draft board. So I went down, took my uh, test for the Army, and the guy says, you're 4C. So I walked back home, and my dad, he knew where I'd been, right, for that morning? Yeah. And he said, what happened at the Army office? I said, I got 4C. Means I'm not going off to war. My dad said, that's good, man. That's good. You know why he said that? What is that? (laughs) You got nothing, don't you? Because war, what is it good for? (laughs) I said, war. What is it good for? Come on, Pep, you can sing this part. I said, war, what is it good for? I said, war, what is it good for? Uh, Don't drop those bombs on all those people. Cause they explode And their arms fly all over the place And then you've got arms and legs All over the sidewalk And then I go to the store To buy a sandwich And I have to step over arms 
video, Eric Z. Yeah, I'd like to thank Bruce Springsteen for totally <laughs> taking his exact intro from the song War, What Is It Good For? Mm -hmm. on the Bruce live album, Bruce Springsteen and the Street Band, live oh. 1975 to 85. Bruce Springsteen's in the uh, final, or I don't know, the third uh, season of Lilyhammer. Did you know that? No. Mm -hmm. He's in the finale and he's in the last episode. Bam. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah? What is he doing it? Did you uh, see the episode? I think I, he jerks off Steven Van Zandt. Yeah, he does? Yeah, he, he goes does. to Steven Van uh, I think Wait, he says that. Really? <laughs> no, come on. What? At one, obviously they're joking. Well, no, 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 no. Joke they're, off. they're brothers, but he jerks them off. They're brothers on the show. Yeah. It's uh, masturbatory incest. I have to really? Tease tease that one. Contempt him. Hello, and millions to see. How do you understand if I could take one moment into this land, Mister? I ain't a boy. No, I'm a man, and I believe in the promised land. Ho! Oh! <laughs> and the rattlesnake Stevie and a few my dream. I got my grouse all day. And little Steven and then little Steven and Lily Hammer on Netflix. He got a thing and he's got a show. And all the night to wait the thing on your heart. Go away and take the dreams of the pond. Wishing to build on the go and a heart. When the dark side, I'll come home. And they understand <laughs> if I could take one moment into my hand. Mr. I ain't a boy. No, I'm a man. I believe in the promised land. <laughs> Pepper. What? You have another fan duel to do. <gasps> Go ahead. Wait, a little. Oh, okay. How much time? How much time? There's, it's been about eight minutes since the last live. Oh, it has. How many? How many? I mean, how much time on the on the old clock -a Rooney? It's Thirty-eight minutes. Twenty twenty-three <laughs> minutes left to go, David. So uh, John Lester is on the Chicago Cubs. Uh, can you believe that? How do you feel uh, about yeah, that? I can believe it. I mean, they're trying to Theo? rebuild. It's Theo. I mean, come on. Theo you know? Epstein getting a former Red Sox doesn't surprise anybody. How, how, how long anybody. has Theo been the, the Cubs now for? What two seasons? Four. It's four no, seasons. I feel now? like wow. yeah. I feel like four. It was uh, he. Uh, he did not win the 2013 World Series, so I think it was like sometime in maybe 2010 or 11. He went over to the Cubs. You think uh, this? You think they have a chance now? You think? I mean, I mean, this is a slow, sad rebuilding process. Well, I'll tell you, many. the the Cubs' uh, mo this year was they actually have a good batting lineup, and those uh, they have young players who can hit the baseball, but they had zero pitching. They should have gotten Samarja back. Samarja guy went, went to the White Sox. The White Sox got the, uh, the Yankees' closer and David Robertson and Jeff Samarja, who's a really good pitcher and has the chance to become a, 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 you know, a great pitcher at that. Okay? I don't know. What do you think about these... Um, these uh, actually, since we have British people here, oh, I'd wow. be curious to hear what they have to say. The uh, LeBron James, right? Uh, he's a guy... King he James. Was, he was King James. He was um, playing uh, against the Brooklyn Nets and wore one of those I can't breathe shirts because the guy Eric Garner oh, wow. was choked out by an NYPD yeah. dude and was saying I supposedly can't breathe. Uh, supposedly choked out, right, Dave? Supposedly, I guess. And was saying I can't breathe uh, in the video. So to support him, LeBron was wearing that. And he was wearing it in front of Mr. Prince William and Miss Kate Middleton. Thoughts and opinions. Go ahead. Pepper, get right on them. Thoughts and opinions of both Prince William and... And Kate Middleton. Thoughts and opinions, please. You now are the voice of England. And I will be reporting this to the English star. Okay, the sun. Okay. I have no opinions. No <laughs> opinions at all. They just follow me everywhere. Let me ask you a question. What happened to this guy's hairdo? 
Three years ago, he was Leonardo DiCaprio. Now he looks like fucking Gollum over here. <laughs> Why did this guy lose all his goddamn hair? Why did he just get plugs for the love of Christ? I, I mean, know. It's really bad. I know. Wear a fucking wig. Charles Grodin wears one, and he ain't royalty. I mean, for Christ's sakes, wear a baseball hat. Why did he lose his hair? You're from England? What's happening? He's in a very stressful position. Jesus Christ. And now you, ma'am. You, please. <laughs> You're going to figure out Tyler's not from <laughs> Tyler's not from England. Where are you what? from? <laughs> New Jersey. What? Okay. Oh! what? Wait a minute. Oh! I've, been, I've been duped. Oh! All right, I've been... Well, then let's talk about Governor Christie. Why so <laughs> fat still? Oh! The guy got stomach stapling surgery fucking uh, nine months ago. He hasn't dropped pound number one. I still see him, uh, see him eating little tiny ice cream sandwiches on the fucking boardwalk at Point Pleasant. Stop eating, fatso. You want to be president? Who are you, Howard Taft? Yeah, he's going to be president, sure. Look what happened to fucking Taft. His fat ass didn't get reelected. Thanks to a little guy named Teddy fucking Roosevelt Pepper who split the vote. Do your goddamn research. Yeah, I watched the documentary also, okay? I know you're fucking obsessed with the Roosevelts right now. I was watching Prohibition last night. Roosevelt. No! You know what I'm back into now? What's that? I'm rewatching Lost. I'm on season two, episode That's three. That's pathetic. Why is it? That seemed to be the common <laughs> thing that I've gotten all over the internet. Because I posted, I'm rewatching Lost. Yeah. I got literally 9,000. Why? And what the fuck are you doing? And that's pathetic. What, what season are you on? Season, season two, two. Oh, yeah. where we the, first meet Desmond the, in the hatch and the button pushing. Oh, that was good stuff. Yeah, the, the, the peak of the show was the uh, finale of season three. After that, you just turn it off. Well, I'm on season two, so I should keep it on then is what you're you saying? You should just watch the last season three, yeah, the last episode of the season. Let me talk about the Knicks. Fucking, uh, they are four and 19. <laughs> they need to blow this whole fucking thing up. Derek Fisher honestly looks like a scared child. He looks like Emmanuel Lewis out there. <laughs> I, 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 I'm fucking expecting Dick Buckus to come in here every once in a while and tell Emmanuel Lewis what to do. Or Jack's Derek gonna sh Jack is going to shit can him and uh, he's going to take the fucking coaching gig. But he's just not going to go on road games. That's a realistic What's possibility. That's a realistic possibility. You know that? Because Derek Fisher is turning out to be unqualified. Not everyone can just go from player to head coach. You know what I mean? The entire team is unqualified. Even Carmelo's unqualified. Pay him, they pay him too much money, they should have dumped him. Remember, you know, Magic Johnson couldn't do it. And this is Magic Johnson we're talking about. He became a coach of the Lakers pre-Phil Jackson era. He, and he didn't know what the hell he was doing. He was bumping referees. He got suspended one game. Very few guys turn out to be great. Bird was one coach of the year when he turned over and became the coach of the Pacers. And Bill Russell was good, but you know. It's, it's not the easiest job in the world when you're a superstar to go to head coach because you can't understand why everyone can't play like you. What, what is so easy for Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson, other guys, they just don't see the court the same way. They don't see the game the same way. Those guys are geniuses. You know Do you I mean? think that uh, Phil Jackson pretty much over thought that he could do too much with so little? With the next, because I honestly think so. I think he walked into something like, much like uh, who is the, the coach of, the, of those Pistons teams? Uh, like, why can't I remember his goddamn name? Chuck Daly. Not Chuck Daly, the guy who won the, the last. Larry Brown. Larry Brown. He came into the Knicks. He couldn't do it. He felt miserably. He was a coach, not, a, not the GM. But I think Phil Jackson's going in the same thing. The, the, with that owner of the Knicks, it's fucking, right. they can't do anything with it. It's, James Dolan it's a is, is one of the worst owners in it's football. A it's a black hole that just sucks in people who think they can do things and it just makes them feel bad about themselves. I would say, I would say Daniel Snyder of uh, the Washington football team and Jim Dolan are the two worst owners in sports. Oh, and by the way, with the Yankees not doing anything, not, not signing one fucking guy unless they decide, which the scubbutt is, that they, that they sign Max Scherzer ace of the Tigers, unless they sign him, maybe that'll teach me something. But I think the Steinbrenners are, are going to sell this team. I think, I think this is exactly what they're doing. They're, they're putting the payroll down. They're going to fucking sell this team. And by the way, that could be a good thing. That could be a terrible thing. They could sell it to some fucking shitty faceless corporation that no one's going to know. The Chinese. You know what I mean? The Chinese. <laughs> they get the same okay. thing, man. Every time. I, for I'm one, the, would last love... Last time I checked, though, China was a country. I, for one, would love a Chinese... Not a corporation. A Chinese owner of the New York Yankees. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with Yao Ming. And Go they, ask and Yao they Ming. Changed, they changed the colors from blue pinstripes to red pinstripes. Why, why, why don't they get the guy who did Hey, Sexy Lady? You know? Hey, God, Sexy Lady. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like... Now batting for the Yankees, Mark Teixeira. Hey, sexy lady. <laughs> boom, 
boom, boom, he's, boom. He's, I actually forget how that song goes. He's Korean. It was Psy. What? Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Whoa! Oh, sexy lady. Korean. Boom. <laughs> That's as close. Why as isn't I can that get. song still popular? I know it was such a great song about sexy ladies. It's in got Korean. over two billion downloads on YouTube. It's the number one downloaded uh, or watched. I are say. you forgetting? Forget Tom Brady, the song we did on Davy Max Sports Program, right. which has three billion, <laughs> three billion downloads. Is three billion. Well, YouTube hides most, most of, of our the, views. Yeah. yeah. True. It <laughs> says 120,000 right. on YouTube, but, actually, but Forget Tom Brady actually has $17.5 billion oh, trillion dollars, uh, earned. Dollars? Um, yeah, I subsidized it, and uh, I'm actually a millionaire. I didn't tell you guys this. And I bought a big uh, Cluck You chicken franchise. Mm. Only after I played the lotto numbers, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42, it got hit by a meteor. And I had to go into a fucking mental hospital before I boarded a plane for Australia, and then that crashed. And now me, Jack, and Kate are stuck in the fucking jungle where wondering what the fuck this goddamn smoke monster is already. I mean, is it a monster or is it smoke? Um, how are you, Peppy? How are you doing today? Rocking and rolling. You're having a, um, uh, you're, you're going away? Going, you're going away. I'm gonna put myself away for a little while. You're going away on vacation. <laughs> I'm put myself in the bag, as I call it. Aren't you? <laughs> aren't you going away to uh, where uh, DC or something like that? Going down to DC. Well, by the time, yeah, by the time people hear this, yeah, I'll be uh, going down to DC. Train. Train. How yeah. are you getting there? I think I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hitch. Are you gonna hitchhike down hitch. to DC? You might not get there in time. You, if you do train. that. It'll be an experience, though. <laughs> There's a train. Yeah. You could hitch a train. Are you gonna hitchhike? Are you gonna? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I'm it's gonna like a hobo. box car it. Oh, you get a stick with the bag on the end of it? Yeah, yeah I do have that, actually. Oh, awesome. He's, he's going to jump on the train like Woody Harrelson, Subway Cowboys. Yeah. He's just going to be riding it. Come on, train! Yeah, I love it. Faster! Was that a real movie? Yeah, it's a real movie. Subway Cowboys? Yeah! No, it was called Subway Cowboys. It was called, what was it, it was called? It was Keith Sutherland, and it was Woody Harrelson. And they were Money Train? For money no. Train. Oh, money Train. Money Train. Money Train. Money Train is Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Money and w yeah, and J-Lo. And, 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 and Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Uh, with money train. Thank you, Kevin. I was the one who fucking said it. You called it fucking subway Wrong trials. You called it yeah. subway cowboys. <laughs> he had the cowboy way. That was the one. Keith the Sutherland. Pepper called it snakes on a train. Right. I heard him. Hey, your season-long fantasy football league is winding down. But the one-week fantasy football leagues on FanDuel have never been bigger. Listen, don't wait till next year. Play more fantasy football for real cash. This season over FanDuel.com. Chris Prince from Detroit, all right? He plays fantasy football all the time. He's won $656,000 playing fantasy sports strictly at FanDuel.com. Oh Join him and hundreds of thousands of other users who have already won money. The leader. The leader in one week sports. FanDuel.com. The money is real. Entry fees start at just $1. No season-long commitment. No upfront fees. Play each week or whenever you want. Set a new lineup each week and win every week if you're good enough. Uh, FanDuel is paying out more than $170 million this NFL season. But you have to play to win, so sign up today. Go to FanDuel.com and click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner. Use the code DMS and sign up now. New user special. FanDuel's giving you a bonus of 200 bucks on your first deposit. For every single dollar you deposit, FanDuel matches up to $200. Offers only good for the first 50 people that use the code DMS. Don't forget to use the code DMS. That's very important. DMS. Don't miss out. DMS. Don't miss out on all fantasy football you can handle. FanDuel.com, where every week's a new season. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-L dot C-O-M. FanDuel.com. Sign up today. And that's what I love to hear. I love to hear something about FanDuel. Did you see what Jeff Fisher did? Jeff but Fisher before is the Rams the ultimate troll. I, I meant to bring this up to you before, but I forgot about it. You didn't like this move? I loved it. Oh, I thought this move was great. If you don't know, uh, remember the Rams originally had the pick where uh, Washington traded up to get that pick so that they could choose, uh, so that they could select RG. Yeah, they had they had the number one pick in the draft of RG three's year and Andrew Luck's number year. two because Luck was number one. Oh. And they trade up to number two, and uh, they did, and then so uh, the Rams ended up getting six players uh, due to this trade. So 
while Washington is mired in all this RG3 controversy and he's been benched and everything like that, he's not even playing. Jeff Fisher sends the six guys who they traded RG3 for and made him team captain to go out for the coin toss. Amazing. It was in your face. Fuck off. At least our guys who were drafted are all playing. I love Jeff Fisher now. I loved it. I want the Rams to win everything. I want him as the head coach of the Giants. I'm not even joking. Fucking, I mean, listen, I love Coughlin. You won two Super Bowls, but you're old. You bow out gracefully, and Giants, do whatever you do whatever it takes to get Jeff Fisher as your coach. I mean, the St. Louis Rams defense in the last like four weeks has been shut out crazy bad. They've the, been like seven sacks a game. The St. Louis Rams is the best six and seven team I've almost ever seen. There, there's seven losses, three or four they could have won. If They've they, played teams down to the wire. Good team. If they had a quarterback, I mean, it would be really scary. I know. Bradford is just such a piece of shit. Well, Bradford he got- builds that team up every year and then gets hurt every single year. And he, he was the last rookie with a giant contract, too. Right after that, they were like, all right, no more giant contracts for rookies. He got like an $80 million contract. And he's been fucking injured for half of his career. Listen, we got to do four picks and get the heck out of here. So let's do it. Sean LB. Going to play that music. In the indicative... Of pick time. And Salty Mike is in on this. Maybe Gabe. Skip. All right, Gabe's getting skipped. You could skip me too, Dave. I might skip Sean O. Speaking of the Rams, the Arizona... The Arizona Cardinals <laughs> at the St. Louis Rams. Thursday Car- night football. Cardinals at Rams. Sean O.B. Powering that bear. Rams, seven. Cardinals, six. Rams, seven. Cardinals, six. Very low scoring game. Roy Shaver. Yeah. Rams are going to ram it home. <laughs> 17 to th- nine. So you always would like if you did the city, St. Louis would ram it home. I don't really know the names of the cities. So- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Salty Mike. St. Louis at Rams. I mean, St. Louis at Cardinals. I'm going to do Cardinals. I'm going to change it up. You know what I'm saying? Cardinals going to, I'm going to think, uh, 28. <laughs> Fuck it. Thank you, Francis from Stripes. Thank you. <laughs> Pepper. Upset special. Whoa! St. Louis Rams, 21. Arizona Cardinals, 10. 21-10! Oh. Cardinals don't have a quarterback or a running back. I don't believe in the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are going downhill quickly. Don't believe in Drew Stanton. Sorry, love the Jeff Fisher. Just espouse the virtues of Jeff Fisher. Forget it. Rams 28, Cardinals 13. Game two. The Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. Dolphins at the Patriots battle in the NF uh, in the AFC East. Sean O'Barry. Uh, seven to six, Dolphins. Dolphins seven six. Low scoring game by Sean O. Yeah. Um, what's the first team again? I'm sorry. I know Dolphins and the uh, <laughs> New England. Anyone? New, New England. England. Patriots. 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 It's definitely Dolphins. 14 to 9. And how are they going to get past the Patriots? They are going to swim past them. There you go, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Sadly, that I have to remind you to do these things, but that's all right. Like little do. mammals. That's just how it works. Yes. I did, we know what Dolphins are. <laughs> we all have Wikipedia. Salty Mike, you Dolphins, know, I'm Patriots. Say, um, say, uh, Wikipedia for that one? Say Patriots. Yeah, sadly I do. I have to <laughs> look up what a Dolphin is on Wikipedia. 40 to 3, Patriots. Wait, wait. 40, 40, 40 to 3. 40 to 3, Patriots. Three. Wow. Okay, if you, very, if you remember, Miami beat New England the first game of the season. Which, yeah. Shit happens. Tom Brady remembers. Tom Brady's going to light these assholes up. He's pissed off. New England Patriots, <laughs> 34. <laughs> Miami, 17. Uh, they double yeah, their fucking shit. Now you're getting the salty treatment, which we all enjoy. That's what we do. It's the fucking creepy ghost from nowhere. Uh, it's, it's, it's the fucking weird Francis. Pointless fucking chatter. Does, does, yeah. he, does he not yeah. remind you of Francis from fucking stripes? <laughs> you, if you ever touch me, you're dead. You look you're at me, dead. you're dead. Let's I don't go. want to touch let's one. Keep it going. No. Let's keep it going. Let's Come keep on. It going. Where's the game at? New England? Yeah, it's in New England. No way in fucking hell. I have been saying all year I don't believe in Ryan Tannehill. This is an easy one. Patriots 38, Dolphins 10. Next. Denver at San Diego. Denver, San Diego. Sean O. Denver. Seven. seven. San Diego. Six. six. Roy Schaefer. San Diego uh, 49ers. <laughs> Chargers. Chargers. Uh, 13 to 27. 
They're really San Diego's really gonna put a charge charge Third. into yeah. uh, the the other team. The other team, yeah. Which is? Gonna light them up. The light them up. No, no, no. Who no, no, are they no. playing? Who are they playing? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Come on. Are you fucking <laughs> stoned? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> fucking Denver, right? Denver. Please, Broncos. go. Broncos. Go. Salty, don't pay attention to the madness. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to go with Denver. Okay. We're Denver? Go Denver. All right, we're going to say uh, fucking uh, 21 to 7. <laughs> <laughs> 21 to 7. Denver, go ahead. Do it. Denver, 35. Get the fuck out. San Diego, 28. You mm. think that Denver would win this game? Game's in Denver, right? Why not? No, it's not San Diego. You'd think Denver would win this game <laughs> in San Diego. You'd think Peyton Manning is seeing it that it's going to be him or Tom Brady grabbing that number one seed in the AFC for the playoffs. You'd think they've got all the mojo on their side, right? Right. No. But you'd think back ass backwards wrong, Pepper, as the Chargers are going to defeat the Denver Broncos. 24! 21! Final game, Peppy Hand Gaga. Let's get this over with. It's a battle of the MC NFC East. A battle of the NFC East. Awesome. Dallas at Philly. Dallas. Sunday at Philly. night football. Rematch of a very important game. One of these teams is making the play, is winning the division. Maybe both make the playoffs. Sean O'Barry. Billy's got this one all the way. Seven, Seven two, six. six. Right, Jamer. Cowboys are gonna rope in those Steelers at uh, fourteen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cowboys are what? Gonna rope in. Oh, rope in. Like okay. a lasso. Eagles. Yeah, I got, I got Eagles. it. Now. Uh, Eagles. Rope in those Steelers at thirty-seven. Rope in the who? Steelers. Steelers. Eagles. No. Twenty-seven. They're playing the Eagles, right, Eagles. Pep? Not, 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 not. Dallas at Philly. Dallas. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, different score. Uh, Fourteen to nine. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a home game. <laughs> Do you need help? Do I need to make a phone call for you? And say my friend has a problem. What do you think, Pepper? No, no, you're not running the show. I'll do that, Salty Mike. All right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go Philly. All right, we're gonna go Eagles. And it's gonna, you know, we're gonna fuck them up. All right, twenty. To, we're gonna do twenty to seven. All right, and then Pepper. Philly twenty, Dallas seventeen. It's a close one. Great game. I can't root for Tony Romo. Eagles thirty-one. Cowboys 27. Thank That's you. your Davy Mac Sports Program. Those your week 15 NFL picks. My name is Eastside Dave, Davy Mac. Hey, missed any part of the show? Just subscribe on iTunes. Automatically get it. Listen on Rycast.com. And make sure you check it out on EastsideDaveCountry.com, my website. Chris Pepper Stanley, Davy Mac, Sean O'Barry, Roy Schaefer, Salty Mike, Whoop Dave, Kevin Segretti. The English and now American girl, <laughs> and Eric C. Ganada! Woo!